there in LP land, Quickshot 14. Uh, for those who know me from my video blogs, of course, this is not your normal theater. Uh, yeah, I totally ripped that from all moons, but it still works. Uh, obviously, uh, this is not a normal video blog, so you're not going to see any fancy smancy overlays or any of my riveting commentary that makes you want to go drill a whole bit in your head. Uh, I've been enthused by Let's Play videos for a while now. I love watching them. They're a lot of fun. So I figured I'd get my shot at them. Uh, doing some XCOM Terror from the Deep. Uh, there's been a few of the original XCOM. Uh, for those who don't know, this is a uh, sequel that was released by Microprose about a year or so after the original. And it really uses just the original engine, the original game, with uh, basically a total retexture of everything. A little bit of remanagement of some things and some reprogramming, but in essence, it's still the same exact game, which is probably why it's still a lot of fun to play, uh, because at least the mechanics are all there and it doesn't suck like a lot of the other ones afterwards and things of that nature. So, let us play XCOM Terror from the Deep. Start with some English and the intro. It's so riveting. Those who don't know, Fall of Sedona was the end of the original XCOM. Just a little too bit there. Uh, this is the Windows 95, 98 uh, uh, Windows CD version. But we'll go over that in a bit. I'll hush now. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water. <laughs> of course, XCOM just happens to have an experimental in order for the. Way. I guess that kind of makes sense with all the UFOs crashing in the water that you can't go get in the original one. Like anyone didn't expect there to be aliens in the water. UFOs go into the water. Man goes into the water. Nobody comes out of the water. <laughs> Definitely was a lot uh, better intro than the original XCOM. Not that there's anything wrong with that intro either, but it was still kind of nice. This is XCOM Terror from the Deep! So, uh, let's do a new game. Uh, before we get started here, I do want to mention, uh, for those who don't actually read YouTube video uh, comments or, or the little overview thing, this is using uh, XCOM Utility, the latest version of that, which is a little mod-like program, and so and basically it helps improve part of the game. It fixes some other bugs as well as uh, gives you options to enhance the game in different ways, shapes, and forms. I'm using XCOM Utility for uh, for this, obviously. Where, uh, the main features I have enabled is I uh, have improved bases enabled, which all it does is give you a different base layout, uh, an improved defense layout, and also gives you some, uh, some starting uh, rooms that you normally wouldn't start with. You start with a large sonar instead of a small sonar. Uh, you start with some, def uh, you know, miss def I think miss defenses, and also alien containment already. So, some differences there. We're also using improved weapons, which improves a lot of the base uh, weapons that are non-alien weapons that you start with to give you a fighting chance, and improved tanks to make them more useful. Uh, those are the main, the main modules, if you will, that we're using. There's a whole bunch more, but we're not using the, those here. So we're going to do experience instead of beginner, because if one of the things XCOM Utility does do is help uh, make these difficulty levels actually more appropriate instead of usual. Normally, if you're going to play XCOM, unless you're uber awesomeness, you would play <laughs> just beginner. But we're going to do experience. So first, got to find a spot for new base. Like, uh, obviously, unlike... Uh, the original XCOM, we can't put it on land. So, let me 
I need to zoom in here. It seemed when I was playing XCOM, uh, doing it over here by Italy worked out pretty well. So I think I'm going to put my base over here too. So I'm going to splop it right there. And I have such a riveting uh, base name. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's original. <laughs> so there we go. We got a lot to go over here. So you can see the, the improved base here for anyone's played it. Usually the base layout uh, is in an X. Oh, wow. That's original. Thank you, Micropose. Uh, but instead we have this here. And as you can see, it's a lot more defensible that way. Uh, first thing I need to do is research. And I want Gauss technology. Just like lasers in the original XCOM, you want your Gauss. So, alright. I need to check my Aquanauts. Actually, let me just go ahead and do this. Just take them all out. Take them all out. Because I have to go through all of them and check them and see if they're worthy. Now, I have a very specific way that I do my Aquanauts and my soldiers that you see. I base a lot of things off very, very, and then everything else. Uh, I kind of got this tip from watching Necro's uh, Let's Play of XCOM. Uh, it, though he wasn't quite right on it, but having their bravery high, the higher the bravery, the better, and the less likely they're going to panic, and some other factors. So, this guy is definitely going away because he sucks. Now, just because if they have 50 or below uh, bravery does not mean they're going to be instantly sold, unlike he would do. Okay, he is though because that just, I mean, his other stats are okay, but I don't think I'm going to do that. See, this guy here is actually okay. He has 40 bravery and everything, but he's going to become fodder, what I call fodder. Basically, he's going to get just a first name here and he's going to be fodder. So when I go into a mission or whatever, if he dies, I really don't care. Unless there's like only three party members, then there might be or three party members, squad members. Uh, then it might matter. But otherwise, he can die to his heart consent. I really don't care. And he needs to be so We got some really shitty starting stuff here. Oh my god. Yeah, be prepared for me to cuss a lot. I do that when I play. <laughs> that guy, actually that guy's pretty nice, but He's still only 40 bravery, so I'm, I'm just going to give him a, a fodder name. Good lord. We're going to definitely have to buy some soldiers here. Oh, definitely going to have to buy some soldiers because this is a pretty weak starting gear. Oh, we got some decent fodder, though, so that's good. Alright, that takes care of them. So we will sell the crap here. Sell those guys, and we're going to purchase some more Aquanauts. I'm going to get 10 to start with because I have to go through them of course. Go ahead and equip our submarine with these guys that are okay. So check my equipment. We don't need dark guns. We don't need dark clips. We don't need gas cannons or these. I don't use a lot of this stuff because it's just pointless. Uh, even with the improved weapons I um, a lot of this stuff I can't seem to do well with, so I just don't use it. So, put a little there. And we're going to sell all that stuff. We're keeping the jet harpoon because it's basically like your rifle. So, and we want to definitely keep that. The gas cannons like the heavy cannon and stuff. I do more damage to myself, especially with the launcher, than anything, so I just get rid of it. I don't want the die grenade. Uh, it's supposed to be like a smoke grenade, whatever. I think it's pointless. Uh, I've never found a use for even the smoke grenade, so what's the point? We are going to need to buy a few things. Uh, the main thing I want is some tasers. I would like at least get a decent supply of those. Um, so I, there's the chemical flare. A lot of people use flares. I just don't. And another thing I want to buy is my heavy weapons platforms. Um, 
a lot of people I've seen, at least Necro doesn't get his uh, tanks early, and that's because usually tanks suck. Uh, but with the uh, the uh, Mahad thing we're using here, they don't suck quite as bad. If I can find the blasted things, I'm working without my glasses here, so this is this is fun. 